13 eat, bleed, bleed, bleed. Oh, that's what it's supposed to say, I think. Good luck. Here comes the ballista. Boop. Good fight. GG's. Man, it's it's so good. How is this so good? Why have more people not been using this? Alright, next target. Good luck. Very poorly timed spec, my good sir. Wonder how good limit breaker pet would be. Oh wait, normal limit breaker wouldn't even oh, don't die to recoil here. Oh, don't drop your death pet, you dumbass. Oh, See, there's a benefit in not having it on left click. <laughs> that almost uh, cost me another vigor there. Hit my bench? No, not high enough. Darn it. What a, why am I risking silly stuff like that? I don't, I don't know. Because it's fun, we're running out of time. Cursed Fang user, good luck. I would love to answer your question. I just can't type for more than one singular key against the Cursed Fang. That gonna kill? With the bleed! Because <laughs> you're low HP and they think they're gonna be able to kill you if they risk it. But then the bleed every single time. It happens so much. I'm so surprised by it. But it... I ah, love this. Even if I'm dying a bunch, even if I'm not really profiting much, we got one good kill, one casket. It's so much fun, I don't give a shit. And that's what PK needs to be more about sometimes. Hit a 70. Whoa, good enough with the bleed? Yep, 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 yep. Every single time the bleed finishes the job, I love it. Alright, hotspot already changed, I missed the last couple of minutes because some IRL stuff came up. Unfortunate, but I I'm liking the setup and I might try this in deep wild. I feel like Ballista into throwing axes could potentially kill someone so quickly in comparison to just spamming knife specs that they may not even have the chance to retaliate to it or do anything at all. Could be fun, I'll consider it. Alright, <clears throat> I wanted to go ahead and try a little bit of pure PKing with the uh, Ballista actually. Again, gonna risk it, but Armadillo Halo and stuff means I can still hit an 81 at pure, which is mental to me. I did not think that would be a thing. Which means you can do something like this into throwing axes, and it's just disgusting. It's and then the bleed on top. I'm very curious to see, and it would be interesting to do some pure PKing without a granite mall for once. Let's see how this goes. A little too slow for sure. I gotta get used to using, using axes. Bit of a refined art. Probably need to do it on a bigger uh, bigger ballista spec. Probably won't commentate too much after this clip though, because it's getting a little late. Oh damn it, good fight. <laughs> Got him with a 73, but it gmailed me at the same time. There was a two times hotspot points. There's another edge hotspot going on at the moment. Um, I guess we'll make the most out of those 40 minutes then, right?
definitely wanted to purchase this with the idea of making some quick money because we need it. But now I'm tempted to use it, finding out that I need it to unlock the other thing. I think with the current goals for money, I think it's better if I sell it. And if it doesn't sell or whatever, it takes too long, yada yada. Um, or I just make it back in the future, I'll just buy one to unlock it myself. But I think for now, the money would be better. I just don't know if that's gonna sell anytime soon. Alright guys, new day, new grinds. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of the Blood Slayer Cave. Not sure how worth doing it is without like the extra points and all of that, but I think Blood Slayer points will be a bit secondary to just trying to farm some loot and whatnot. Um, God, is that shit even... Is Blood Slayer even worth it in its entirety without using half tickets? I'm actually not sure. It lasts three hours, but I never use it for three hours. That's such a waste as well. How many daily tokens do we have at the moment? Oh, uh, tickets? 75 challenge tickets, so that's enough to get three of those passes. Not that hard to upkeep, but I often do miss a lot of them. It was already claimed, right? Yeah. Should be resetting soon? Yeah, in about an hour. Oh, I don't know if that's worth it or not. The points are gonna be low regardless, but. The points aren't awful in the cave to begin with, but then again, I also don't know if I'm gonna get like immediately ragged on and, you know, bullied out the cave. I don't know. Nah, I guess there's only one way to find out, right? We'll learn the hard way, give it a go, and if it doesn't work out, we'll just go out of the cave and instead kill some shit in the Willy on Slayer task, right? Doesn't really matter too much. Like a good hotspot comes out. I mean, there's an edge hotspot at the moment, but it's kind of dead from what I could tell. No one is really doing it. I'm not gonna use the uh, thing in my POH though, just in case a Blood Slayer well pops up later today. Because that would be a bit of a shame, wouldn't it? All right guys, so far so good. About 10 minutes in now, nothing too crazy. Using some decent boost though, so the kills are quite quick, which is nice. I forgot to use a Laren scroll, gotta make sure I use one and maybe bring one so I can last half an hour in here. My second idea was that it is probably a good idea to stack up blood money for the uh, extra ladders so we don't have to run all the way to the entrance if we want to leave, but there's like one right here for example. So we need to get those perks unlocked. That would cost a bit of blood money, but this cave itself gives a lot of blood money, so we might be able to save up a big portion of it ourselves and maybe purchase the remaining amount. Uh, kind of depends on what you're killing, but I know this stuff like Episode Demons uh, seems to give a ton of blood money and shit like that. And then Rune Dragons can give like the Vorkath teleport drops and all of that good stuff, so... There's a lot of stuff to be gained here still. I'm just still kind of skeptical, because everyone always tells me like, don't bother with the cave, there's so many clans that just dominate it. Maybe I'll never be able to use the Essence, I don't know about that, I feel like if I were to get a drop from the boss motherfuckers would appear out of nowhere probably just a hunch but uh yeah for now this is kind of chill i do need to go bank in a bit change my prayers because soul split with defaults means infinite prayer it's kind of annoying to have to actually use my prayer pots in comparison yeah other than that pretty chill so far hopefully we can actually get some nice drops something like a price key and all of that good shit but yeah the small stuff will add up nicely too all right, nice little second trip. Not too many Laren's keys. Seems like the drop right here is pretty low for some reason compared to outside. Maybe that's done on purpose, I suppose. But I uh, ended up getting a little prize key from a... Uh, Jesus Christ, bro. The motherfucker trying to attack me. I see your ass. Uh, a little prize key from a Chaos Druid, so that's kind of nice. A little bit of blood money and all of that. Nothing too crazy though, but I suppose it all adds up. Alright, so I need 50k blood money to unlock this stuff. I have 10k. And your boy's broke as fuck, so that's just not gonna happen right now, unfortunately, until more shit sells for my TP. Gonna have to be a bit patient for that. Uh, just gonna go ahead and rush back for the time being. Kinda sucked though, I would love to be able to use the other ladders, but... Um, yeah, at least we got that next scroll yesterday. <laughs> yeah, a little... Uh, May as well talk about that for a second. So we found out that in order to get the upgrade one, we need to have next unlocked in order to be able to purchase it. 
to wait is it actually even a log slot i didn't even think of that because like if the next upgrade scroll was added much later it might not even be one right no but it is okay it was added to it so we still are gonna have to get that for 3.5k but that also means we have to use the next scroll now the reason i wanted to buy the upgrade was because there already was a unlock scroll in the trading post so i figured you know may as well sell the upgrade but that isn't a possibility so now i'm contemplating i need the money right now that's why i would prefer selling it and just buying it back later when we actually want to unlock next don't see too much benefit in it right now i don't think we'll be doing it anytime soon because next is no oh, misclicked next is a pretty dead boss from my understanding from what i've heard from other players so i don't think that's too worth bother bothering with right now oh my god i forgot the fucking laring scrolls again I, you know what i don't even give a shit fuck the scrolls doesn't even matter that much because the keys are so rare here but um yeah it didn't sell overnight but if it's taking a long time to sell i'll just end up using it we'll make money through other ways i don't know how good this in particular is for just raw cash though i don't feel like i'm profiting that much from this but at the same time the blood slayer points are gonna stack up i guess it's 30 per task it's not that high without any double things going on but oh boy the next time we see an eight times slayer points i'm gonna go hard as fucking here and just uh, try to get another relic or something out of that anyway enough blah 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 i'll see you guys in a bit wow an hour has already flew by get some more larynx keys some more blood money six four kef teleports kind of nice the hour is already over though that went really quick 2.3k blood slayer points it's <laughs> kind of neglectable ain't it it's a very low amount of points all things considered but uh you know i'll still gladly take it it's not bad the loot stacks up nicely it's a pretty chill place i don't think i'm gonna do it for like three hours though you know i don't have that kind of patience and i'm definitely not feeling like i'm making hundreds of bills per hour here definitely not so we just get it oh look golden hunger games that's a perfect perfect something else to do all right in the finals of a golden hunger game but i'm kind of getting slapped i'm not gonna lie these hits are beyond ridiculous mine are non-existent it is what it is, I guess, even though I have a fucking Elijah Spirit Shield. It doesn't even matter. Can't tank shit. That's so annoying. I had such good gear too, and it still hit me like I had like I was fucking naked. Got a little Golden Hunger Games final going on here. Might actually have a shot of winning him. Eh? He's pretty low on food, yeah. There we go. And the minigame scroll, so 80 points for that. Wonderful. Now at 726. Isn't that Trimmed Swift Boat quite valuable, this one? Swift Boat Trimmed, oh, it's 2.5k, makes sense that it's valuable then. GPS item, Swift Boat, like this, 2.5k points. Oh, it looks like it's quite valuable. I think we should just save up for that next and get a big whop of money from that. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, did some Cerberus last night for my dailies and uh, got a mystery chestnut price key on top of... Some decent votes, donator tickets. Just always nice to get. Uh, looks like some shit in my TP sold. Ah, one of the Infernic Defenders. That isn't gonna be much either. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and then chant the key in. And, uh, oh, we have two keys? What is the other one from? I have no clue. Might have been from one of the stores, maybe. Uh, VMP, Elite, regular dono. Oh, the elite ones are looking a little low, I'm not gonna lie. I still have two donator elixirs, I won't have to buy that one at least, but I don't have enough to buy the M chest and the key this time from Elite Zone. Got enough regular donator at least. Alright, let's enchant these four keys into at least two grand price keys, please. Yes? No. No. Bruh. Only one. Disgusting. A Berserker pet. That is not too valuable per se, but it is nice in the sense of another collection log slot at least. I don't think I'm gonna open the other one though, because yeah, one out of four is kind of bad. Eh, it's more fun to buy one grand prize key. Probably not gonna profit because of it, but let's see. Burnix chaps, but apparently we already have that collection log slot. I wasn't expecting that. How's our log looking right now for donator and boxes and chests? 
Oh, we're still missing quite a bit. Oh, we got Pernix likes twice, but we don't even have the body or the Koi yet. Still need two Furtis, three Torva, the Phase Gun. Wow, we need a lot. A lot, lot. 16 out of 40 only. Sheesh. Well, that's gonna take some time for sure.